What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of Zero to Hero, my TF2 Road to Unusual trading series. It is Monday, which means a brand new uh, TF2 trading video will be out and you are watching it right now as we speak. So, start off with saying our uh, Tribunorvorous Tyrannus, I don't know how to say it, um, for 1.66. So that's a really awesome deal, that's what it's worth. And yeah, so next trade. Selling our air, air raider for 1.55 pure, which is what we listed on our post for. So, yeah, I've already checked it away. So, I just made a trade for these. Um, there we go, 1.55 pure. So, let's head on to the next trade. Now, we are purchasing a Dark Age Defender for three refined. Uh, as you can see, they're valued at four refined. Um, and we're only buying for three, which is really good. So we'll make that trade. We'll sell it on for four refined. And yeah, hope to make some profit. So on to the next trade. All right, so we're selling the Dark Age Defender, the Belgium Detective, and the Fed Fine Fedora for an Antarctic Parker. Um, and I also, we did do a rock, paper, scissors off in, in the form of a spy crab, and I won those two weapons, so that's what they're for. Um, but yeah, this is worth one key, so that was a large over overpay, which is good. Um, altogether, it was worth 7.33. And also, our scatter gun just sold like a few minutes ago, so I've got 4.36 US dollars uh, in the bank. I'll put a counter in the top corner for that as well, opposite for the trading cards. So, um, yeah, we got $4. Um, the keys are, at the moment, really expensive. They're like 2 bucks 45 so I'll wait, to them. I'll wait for them to come down to like, you know, I'm gonna put a buy order at like 2 bucks 35 and I'll buy one then. And then once we buy one, then I'll update the price. So, um, not gonna be any at the moment. But yeah, our buy order has been placed, so we've got how much have we got? I forgot already. Four dollars thirty-six, awesome. I'll put on the Antarctic Parker as well. The soldier misc. Oops. Yeah. So I've got my full <laughs> my full Santa set on. Um anyways, uh yeah, on to the next trade. Alright, so we received a trade from this person, original Call of Duty. Um, I was just saying on the mic how I was buying all Steam trading cards for one scrap each and selling a bunch of cosmetics and some misks. So, I do actually have a strange, don't I, uh, the flamethrower or the rain blower, as it's called. Alright, so we're buying some more. So our current total is 58, if I'm not wrong. Um, you'll see a counter in the corner. So if we buy these, then that would give us 60. Is that all? Alright, so it's only 59 then. Only buying one, so. That's fine. 51 cards. So, yeah, uh, 59, not one. Yeah, uh, so when we uh, get to 100 or so, I'll sell them all on the market. And we'll get about 5 bucks worth. Uh, possibly more, and we can get like 2 keys out of that, so. Um, that's a really good way to make profit if none of you have done that, so we've spent like 60 scrap pretty much so far, 60 scrap is about 7 refined, so um, yeah, just under six refi uh, just under 7 refined which is really good, so not even key and we've already got probably around 1.5 keys around on the market, maybe just under, but still it's good profit, especially when you get uh, a lot of them at a time like 200, 300 at a time. But anyway, uh, on to the next trade. Okay, so we received another trade. Um, exact same thing as before, I was just saying. I was buying Steam trading cards and selling cosmetics, so we'll see what this person is after. So, 
Let's see what he's after. Alright, this guy was AFK for quite a bit, uh, so I just got it. So, yeah, we are buying training cards. Got a lot at the moment. Both of us three, so. Yeah, look at all them. I think a few of them are mine, but for the most part, um, most of them have we just bought. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, booster packs might actually go for a, a bit more than uh, individual cards, I'm not sure. What is that hat? Never seen that hat before. And someone just added me in the background, so we'll see what he's after. Hey. Alright, awesome, so we've got uh, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67 cards at the moment. And he's buying a strange frame blower, so that's awesome. Okay. So the counter will update the corner. Uh, the rain blower. Two ref. And there we go. So that's a nice trade. Awesome. That's a good clip. Um, so what have we got here? A lot of metal. <laughs> you're moving. There you go. Awesome, so we've only got eight more hats to sell. I don't think this is ever going to sell, but you know, why not? Um, yeah, so on to the next trade. Alright, so this guy in chat just said buying cosmetics, so I sent him a trade. I'm going to add everything that I'm selling in. Yep, that's all. So we got eight. So let's see if he's interested in any of them. Oh, hang on, just wait. I just minimized, I realized on my outpost trade I still have some things I haven't ticked off as sold yet. So, yep, that's good. Alright, we'll see if he's interested in any. Beard how much? Or refined. Backstab me. You trying to backstab me? I regret nothing. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna swap cosmetics. Oh, the veal. I could maybe one one for the veal. So it's painted as well. Are they still 4F? I think they're more actually. 4.33. Yeah, 4.33. Alright, I could swap. I'll try and buy them all for pure, but a discount price. See what he's wanting. I just sold one of those, the haunted versions. Doesn't want pure, so just swap this. Beard and coat. Get things to him at Parker. Coat is one key. Lol. Lol. Yeah, it's the Antarctic Parker is worth one key. Remember, mate. Oh, the veil, yeah, the veil's also painted though. After eight, how much is that worth? Pretty, isn't that like a key or something? Yeah. Can't 
can't do that. Awesome. So that's we could we could we could be able to get a key out of that. Um, maybe I'm probably not gonna try for that, but that's definitely profit. Um, also, there's the Orb Asimov. Um, I made a swaggy skins on that. You can go check that out if you haven't already. Um, so we'll pop the. You can't notice the cut, you don't notice like the paint at all compared to the normal one, really. But it's still awesome. Um, so, what do we got now? We still got the eight uh, misks to sell. So, I'll try and sell them and I'll get back to you with another trade. Alright, we're trading the Antarctic Parker for one key pure, which is really good. Um, we, the thing is, with these. Uh, it's worth, jeez, it is worth one key, yeah. The thing with these high value items is, it's sometimes hard to sell for full price, so, um, I just listed as one key to start with, and I was probably going to lower it to around, uh, 8 ref, 8.66, around that. They still make profit. But, no, someone bought for a whole key, which is awesome, so, uh, we made definitely profit off that, so French bought this key for 8 point, uh, 7.33, which is great. Um, and yeah, so it's another misc, uh, another misc down. So on to the next trade. All right, so I am buying three keys here. Only one of them is for the series, just um, and then I'm buying two for myself. So they're 9.55 each. Um, what was that? Um, yeah. So uh, I left. I'm only buying one for us. Um, but I'm buying one because they're going to go up very soon. There is a couple of votes to increase the price, that's why I'm buying one. And um, also because I want to leave, I'm not buying another, is so I can do some more trading with like trading cards or whatever. Um, and buying discounted and some misks. Like I, um, like I yeah, used to do so. Uh, that goes there. Um, Yes, yeah, so that's what we've got so far. Three keys, that's pretty neat. Three keys, 11.44, uh, and a whole bunch of hats and misc, so it's awesome. Um, on to the next trade. Right, so we're purchasing a face plant for three ref. This time it's the non haunted version, so we're not going to be able to sell it for as much, but it's still a one ref discount, so we're, uh, that's good with that, so. Um, yeah, on to the next trade. So now we're buying an exquisite rack for three refined metal. It does have a rotten orange footsteps uh, uh, spell on it, so that's oops, three refined. Um, yeah, it does have a spell on it, which is worth one ref, I believe. So we'll definitely make a and the exquisite rack itself is worth uh, four ref, and it is an actually pretty easy to sell soldier hat. So we'll make about uh, about five ref profit off, uh, two ref profit off it. Jeez, I can't speak now. Uh, if we manage to sell it for 5 ref, but we'll see how easy it is to sell it with the spell. I'm just going to check now what its value is. I'm 99% sure it is 1 ref. So I'll just check now. And yeah, 1 ref. So that's a very good profit, even without the spell. Um, uh, yeah, but I'll just accept this guy. We'll see what he's after. But anyways, on to the next trade. Someone has added me for the um, for the exquisite rack, and what I just did was, uh, whoops, um, I'm just going to use a trade calculator because he was offering items. I was looking for 4.33 pure, um, and so he's doing 5.66, which is a significant overpay, which is pretty good. So we'll do that. Uh, the reason I was looking for 5.33 uh, was because of the. Um, uh, oh, no. Um, yeah, the reason I did that was because it has a spell on it, so that's why I did it. Um, oops. yeah, so that's about it. Uh, this guy's going for a trade, but that's not part of the series, so... Yeah, on to the next trade. Alright, so, uh, we are buying a double cross comp. Uh, for 1k 4f from Lurkin, 
uh, it is valued at 1.8 to 2 keys. So that will be. Uh, quite, uh, we can make a couple ref of profit off of that, which would be really good. Um, uh, don't worry about that offer hand. Um, yeah, so we've got that, and back down to two keys. Um, not much metal, but yeah, we've got quite a few hats to sell. It is um, for sniper and spy, so I'm just getting distracted by the people talking in the background. Uh, yeah, for sniper and spy is the classes it's for, so that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, so that's great. We'll try and sell that on for profit, and I'll see you guys in another trade. Okay, so I'm in the same server, and Mr. Krabs is purchasing the double cross con, which is awesome. The two keys, so we've just made instant profit there, which is awesome. So thank you to Larkin and Mr. Krabs for that easy profit. Um, so we got four keys, uh, three, re uh, one ref, and 0.7. So. And also keys just went up by the way, um, like a few hours ago, yeah four hours ago they went up to 9.66 which means they're probably gonna, people are gonna start selling them for like 10 ref, and let's see now, people are gonna be selling for 10 ref now, oh not quite yet, but eventually they'll get there, uh, anyways, uh, on to the next trade, okay so we're selling our sniper soul for one wreck and a couple of weapons, Mr. Carbs again, which is awesome. So thank you very much. And so yeah, you get another wreck, some weapons, and these shoes, which are pretty sick. But next trade. Now we are just selling the Sir Hoots a lot for two refined pure, uh, which is pretty cool. So just uh, not the most exciting trade, but it's still a trade, so yeah, next trade. Alright, so we just sent a trade offer for a bearded Bombardier for 3 ref, it's worth 4 ref, and just refresh, and the offer was accepted. So, new item in our inventory, the bearded Bombardier, it's worth 4 ref, and we bought for 3 ref, like I just stated. So, that's 1 ref profit, um, and once again, that is from that TF2 outpost trade that we had up. So, next trade. And now the cappers that we are selling the heavy hat for 1.66. Um, nothing too exciting going on here, but 1.66, so next trade. Now we are just uh, selling the Towering Pillar of Haz for 1.66. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode of episode 10 of Zero to Hero. We're 10 episodes in, which is really exciting, and I hope you guys are all enjoying them. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be uploading these every Monday, so stay tuned for that uh, next week. And yes, that's about it from me. Take care guys and bye for now. Have a good one.